It's now been about five months since I set up this five gallon aquarium I had acquired for free. To recap as quickly as possible, I had no plans on how I wanted anything to look or what fish would eventually call this tank home when I first built it. I wanted to experiment a little more this time and decided to use a soil base using the random bag of my shed in addition to locally sourced sand and driftwood. Even some of the initial water was taken from the same lake as the sand and wood. All of the plants here started as some scraps taken from my community tank, as well as a handful of scraps given to me by the local fish store. There is no filter in this tank. I was originally going to go with no tech at all, but ended up adding a heater to keep temps comfortable for Grommy. A tiny bubbler was also added to create a little water movement and help keep things oxygenated. While I started with just a USB ring light, another reptile dome with an LED bulb was added to make sure both sides had enough light coverage for the plants. If you haven't seen it already, I recommend checking out the video I made about the initial setup. I've also got a playlist of the other update videos I've made. This is my first time actually trimming any of the plants while doing a vacuum and water change. The past few months, water changes were done every 10 days or so. While water parameters have been stable, I get quite a bit of evaporation, along with my cat periodically trying to drink the water. On top of that, having growing honey grommy means there's lots of fish poops. So I'd do a quick vacuum each time I need to add more water. This time though, I decided to trim and replant some of the taller stem plants that were reaching the top. And cut back a bit of the java moss that was starting to hog the light from the Anubias. When vacuuming, I make sure not to disturb the top layer of sand and uncover the soil layer. Since the lake is currently frozen at the time of making this video, I'm simply using treated tap water, like my other tanks. Some of the plants are growing in slowly but steadily, such as the Anubius and the Cryptocorn. The Buse of Alandra is still growing too, though it has lost some leaves. The sword plant that was almost gone has made a complete recovery too, and while still kind of small, it looks nice and healthy. Other plants have taken off though, such as the Ritala forest that started out as just a couple chewed up stems. And I'm questioning if I've made a mistake adding in that dwarf sage before the last update video. There is also a couple different types of algae growing. 
which I don't mind since it doesn't seem to be taken over. When it comes to the Grammy, I currently have seven little ones living in this aquarium. In case you haven't seen any of the previous videos, basically a handful of Grammy eggs were taken from my community tank to add into this experiment, and these are the survivors of that first few months. Though another attempt to add eggs was made, the larger of the fry would just eat anything else I tried to add in and bully the other tiny fry. Please keep in mind that I am no professional when it comes to breeding or raising fish, and for the most part I'm just leaving this experiment to grow on its own. I consider any fish to come from this experiment to be a success. The larger of the juvenile garami are almost an inch long now, comparable in size to my ember tetra. They will be staying in here a bit longer until they are a little bit larger, and then the females will be added to the community tank along with the parents, custard and cream. They are still a little too small for me to differentiate males from females, and since Grammy can be a bit territorial, I will only be keeping a single male in my community tank. If more of the small fish turn out to be male, I may keep one in with my guppy boys, but the rest will most likely go back to the pet store where the parent fish were purchased from. There are also some snails still in here, just less, as they've been food for the assassin snails next door. It's neat looking back at the setup video compared to now, and seeing the growth of everything in just a few months. At first, it looked a little bare, with not many plants, but they have quickly filled in the space and have been thriving. Soon enough, I'll have to start trimming the plants even more if I want to be able to see anything. When it comes to future plans for this setup, I am mostly going to be leaving it as is. Water changes will continue to be done as needed, and the fish will be regularly fed as this experiment continues to grow. Once the grammy reach a good size to add into the community, they will be moved from this home. While I may still change my mind, I think I'm settled on the idea of getting a sparkling grommy as the actual fish that will call this home. Though my local pet store also stocks bumblebee goby or uh, pygmy quarries too. Tempting. When the grommy are large enough to be moved, and if there are other future changes, I'll be making further update videos, so subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow along with the growth of my little experiment. And that's going to be it for this update video, so until next time, thanks for watching.